The next time somebody asks me, are you French? I'll reply, of course I am. Do you know that I came from France brought by a stork? <laughs> Hi there, my name is Marciu, and everywhere I go, the people ask me if I'm French. I have nothing against friends or French, I have a lot of friends from friends. But it's a little bit weird when the people ask you, are you French, and you don't even speak the language. Maybe I should ask my mother if I'm really her son. Probably I'm imported and I haven't known yet. Even in Portugal, I'm approached in English or French. One day, I went to Spain for visiting Sevilla. I was looking for directions for my hotel. So I looked around and I found a security guard. The first thing he asked me was, are you French? On Christmas holidays, I went to Portugal and I was in Dublin waiting for the bus to the airport. A French guy that was waiting for the bus as well started to speak in French with me. And I said, Quoi? He repeated every single word he has said. Sorry, I don't understand anything what you are saying. But you said Quoi? I thought that you were French. The first time that I came to Ireland was on 2012 for the St. Patrick's Day. I was drinking my pints and having fun in the church bar on W City Center. It was the time of the Six Nations Championship and I remember that was the match between Ireland and England. An Irish guy approached me and asked me, predictions. And I said, what? Predictions? I didn't understand anything on that time and I was trying to not be rude. Sorry, I don't understand what you are saying for the game. What do you think? Oh, predictions! So I replied, mm, 2 0. <laughs> there is no 2 0 on rugby. I'm afraid. 2 0? Are you French? He asked me. And I said, No, no, I'm Portuguese. Oh, so you have an excuse. After that, he just said to me, Forget it. I'll pay you a pint. I didn't understand why he said you have an excuse, but probably because we are not on the Six Nations. But we have a rugby team. So I don't understand anything about rugby. I hope you understand now why I said 2 -0. This weekend I was cleaning my kitchen and I found that the eggs are close to them expired date. So I'm going to present you my favorite recipe on its cooking and baking time. It's cooking and baking time! Put 1 cup of sugar in a pan. Add 5 soup spoons of corn flour. Mix everything well. Add 2 cups of water and 1 quarter of cup of milk. Mix everything until the sugar is completely dissolved. Prepare juice of 2 lemons. Put the pan on the stove. Stir with a wooden spoon until it boils and becomes thicker. Mix the lemon juice and take it out of the stove. Leave it to cool. In the meantime, wash and cut 500 grams of strawberries. Add 125 grams of sugar and a shot of port wine. Blend it all. The sauce is ready. Blend to egg whites. Mix everything carefully. Graze the container and put the pudding there. Put the pudding and the sauce in the fridge for the next hours. Once it's ready, take it from the fridge and put it in a big plate. Put the sauce over the pudding and voila, it's ready. Bon appétit! I've never been there by the way. But I would like to. I've never been there but... No. I've asked him... <clears throat> I've asked him... I've asked him. Oh, jeez. I've asked him. Okay? I've asked him. Oh, jeez, I can't. This weekend, I was cleaning my kitchen. Oh, Jesus. This weekend, I was cleaning my kitchen and I found that my eggs. My eggs. This weekend. Qua? And I said, Qua? So, if you like this video, do thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave a comment. But don't forget to subscribe. Bye! 
Now I'm going to Cork Kent station uh, to catch the train to Fora to see the penguins and the kangaroos. Uh, it's not so far from um, Cork, so let's do this.